Welcome back to Let's Play Pets Bunnies. I wasn't expecting this to be a two-part episode, but it is. Here is part two. As you can see, we are just saved our game. Uh, do I want to continue to play? Yes, I do. We go back. And he just had a little musical note, which got cancelled out when I saved, but he'll get it again. Um, let's give him some water. Looks like he's about to run out. It would be under food, Raina, not, um... Yeah. There we go. Filled his water up. See, he's got toys he can play with. I don't haven't won any toys yet for the mini games. Now, the, the, the thing with this is you have to have mini games. When you get through the mini game, you win him stuff. Um, if you don't, you can't go to the store and buy anything. You can't uh, expand that way. You don't earn any money. You just play the mini games when he feels like giving you one, and you earn prizes. Now to see if I can get through some of these mini games through this one. Um, doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. I can check his stat real quick. He is full and clean. Um, I can clean out his cage, which hasn't really seemed to affect his mood in any way from from anything I can tell. But it gives me something to do. Yeah, cleaned his cage. Uh, let's go with patterns. Let's you change out stuff if you've won anything, change them out for, which I haven't. Um, yeah. If you want to go back to outing, you can uh, do owner info, which lets you fill out stuff. Uh, put in friends, add friend information, like such as their birthday and name and everything. How delightful! I'm glad you're happy, Bunny. Um, if you put in a birthday when it comes to close to that day, your bunny will remind you of it. He will also remind you of a birthday when you don't have anyone's name on there. He'll just say, did you know your friend's birthday is today? But then you don't have any friends, because it's not in there. So I don't quite get that. Alright. Click on the bell when you go into the zoom screen. If you noticed, I'm not switching back and forth for screens this time. I don't feel like bothering with that. Like I do with the Kirby Squeak Squad. Um, I might stop bothering with it for Kirby. I, I, well, I don't know. I don't bother with it for, I may do bother with it for Kirby because there's no reason for you to be seeing the bubbles all the time. It, it's kind of just not necessary. I'm just going to teach him another word. G-L-L-O. Hello. He's not going to get it the first try, which he really should because he was talking to me in full sentences before. Who? Um, oh, now he's napping, but he only naps for like a second, and then he'll wake back up. We have nothing to do. I'm just waiting for him to give me a mini game, and it'll leave that screen automatically if you don't do anything. Oh, this is the longest he's napped. He's not actually napped this long before. Um... It's weird, he looks like he has no eyes. But you know, I think I might do this for a while. I think I'm gonna just sort of go through my weird games that I have and sort of let you see them. Because I do have some really weird games that I find in a ROM dump onto my laptop. I'm a bit of a collector of the odd, uh, and not just, yeah, not just DS games, all kinds of just odd games. I'm a bit of a collector. I've got all kinds of weird stuff I could be showing you. Now he's sleeping again. Is he waiting for me? Um, and now that I've moved the- that was weird, because I wouldn't have been moving like the stylus above- hovering it above the thing. That just had to have been timing. Okay, Bunny, give me a mini game so that I'm not wasting- it's been five minutes, I haven't got a mini game yet. I need the mini games to get stuff to put in the cage and give him toys and everything. Um, his- as you can see, his needs are really easy to take care of, just make sure he's fed and clean. Which he tends to stay for a while. Mm. I've had him for nine minutes, so says the game. Me, and you can notice they're sparkly. That means the cage is clean. He's bound to do something. Come on, bunny. It's about as exciting as owning a real bunny. 
Like, the real bunnies, you know, don't talk, and you can't tell if they're playing with something or trying to eat it. Whereas this bunny actually plays with stuff. And you know what I'm gonna do? Since we're in the five minute mark, I'm gonna actually just sort of fast forward through up until we uh, get a game. So let's just wait it out. Yay! Okay, we've got the mini game. I've got approximately four minutes to finish the mini game. Uh, if you noticed, it took a while to get here. Um, it's it's pretty much how slow moving this game's gonna end up being. Now he's gonna pick two games, or pick a game and a difficulty level at random. Uh, floor cleaning on easy. Let me explain about floor cleaning. I really don't have time for this right now. Let's just start. Alright, the aim of the game is to clean the floor before time runs out. And you do that by scrubbing after the bunnies. Your bunny apparently invited all of his bunny friends over to the house and they're all running all over your floor. I got corn from that. That's right, people. Unless you play a minigame, sometimes you can't feed your bunny. And all his little bunny friends have just sort of come over and they're just traipsing mud all over your floor and then they're going to give you food and I don't understand what this has to do with anything. Maybe I'll get a toy out of it and I'll be able to show you uh, me using the toy too. I don't know. Come on, clean the blasted floor. Another little flaw is that you can't tell um, some spots if you've cleaned them or not. Um, see, I could have sworn that spot wasn't clean but apparently it was. I succeeded at the game. I got corn, a barrel, and Katsuya? Katyusha? I don't even know what that is. I got three things. Let's see if any of them were a toy. Uh, nope. The boys like it for some reason. Here's something you can actually put on the bunny. You can actually dress your bunnies up with stuff on their heads. You can see I put something on the bunny's head. Um,. Food was corn and toy barrel. And I can play with the bunny again. Will it let me continue playing? Will it let me. Yes! Okay, it's the next mini game. Uh, this is probably like a, the third video now. Yeah. So the next mini game is going to be on the third video. And why am I making so many videos for this thing? I don't know. Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Pets Bunnies. This is the third video. I was not expecting there to be three at all. Dribble Shot on easy. Let me explain the Dribble Shot. I can do without, thank you. Alright. So with this minigame, you... Basically, uh, roll the ball to your bunny, and you're trying to get it past the go past the bunnies. As you can tell, this is an incredibly difficult game to do properly. I failed. I didn't get anything out of it. Yeah. But that's okay. Because now we're going to uh, play with the barrel so you can see what it looks like when he's playing with toys. He's actually very intelligent for me playing with toys. Uh, normal bunnies are not this smart. Yep. There's a barrel there. Would you like to do something with that barrel? Perhaps just stare at the barrel. Gonna jump in the barrel. No, you're going to talk to me. How delightful. I'm glad you enjoy your barrel and I'll do something with it. Look, I put it here for a reason, bunny. Do as you're commanded, bunny. Do as you're commanded. Yay! Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm done. Uh, this, you've seen everything the game has to offer, and you've seen the little, you know, oddities. Um, three videos is enough. It's, it's more than enough. So, we're gonna move on to another game next time, and maybe it'll be Let's Play Kirby.
probably not. It'd probably be something weird. 